Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate advanced buttons. As you can see, we already have simple buttons. There are almost 20 plus styles you can see over here. That is already available in the plus add-ons. You can see recently we have added style 23 for that. But after that, with lots of suggestions and feedback from other users, we have added advanced buttons in which we have added more styles and more features. First of all, this uh, whole series of button is based on call to action buttons in which you will see different styles. I can see it here. You have nice, sleek, beautiful buttons over here. Then here are the buttons which are with the effects. It's like a attention grabber buttons, so it will take your attention out. It will increase like sense of urgency. You can see all the effects and options over here. You can see, right? If you click over that, it will show the different effect. Then here is the offer. Like it's beautiful, isn't it? When you hover over that, you will. Put any of your message here, right? You can show out like you click me, touch me, or whatever. You can use the like any image you want from here. If you hover over this, you will see the different icons, right? See. It's a 10% off and once you hover on that, it will be do it, do it, yeah. You must buy it. You can see other options as well. I must tell you, these are the complex button. That means you have to adjust its width and height and everything to get these kind of effects. So, like, you need to manage it out. See this beautiful effect. can see all the options over here I, I love this a lot you can see after that you have the download buttons in which you can download it with this kind of animations and once you click you will see the uh, file is downloaded auto yeah so these are the options like once you download it it will be so the like Check mark button and after a few minutes few seconds it will go on away you can see here as well right look at the effects done that's nice isn't it Okay, now let's get back to the back end and see how these buttons are made. Like, let's go to the back end, and from there, you will see the options here. First of all, you have two options the call to action buttons, these are the styles here. Like, we have mentioned about uh, those are around 14 styles, and in the download, there is total five styles, so it's around up to 20 styles. Right now, let's go to the style one. You have the text option, you can send the text over here. You can put your link, then you can set up open in new tab or add no follow whatsoever. Then you have option for the alignment. You also can change the alignment based on the responsive device. Then you have the styling option, you can adjust the outer border height and width. As I mentioned earlier, all these buttons are a bit complex so that you need to ma manage heights and width based on your layout. Like if you increase the typography, the height, then you also need to adjust the outer border, like border width and everything. So you need to be sure about that, like how you will manage. Let's get back to what was the normal. Yep. 
now in the style you also have the typography options which are responsive as well like you can adjust that on responsive devices then you have the text color the background color the hover those both options are for the normal and for the hover conditions you can adjust the border box head or everything then you have option for the on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this in our channel so look into that and don't forget to subscribe our channel as we have lots more coming soon on channel after that if you select the style 2 let's go here there will not a major difference in style 2 as both are the same like now let's go to the style 3 in that you have the same common alignment option but each and every style will have some extra options based on its need like here you can adjust the normal animation speed and hover animation speed because if you want to slow this effect down you can adjust the speed from here and for the normal and for the hover condition so these are the options then if you go to the style 4 there are also options for the animation and rest options are available over here those options will be almost similar to what we have seen in style 1 like you will have all the color, radius, fading and kind of options and you will have on scroll view animation right. now if you go to the style 5 in style 5 you have alignment same and there is the options for the extra like you can adjust the speed and you can adjust the width of that button we have put width in this button because as you can see that writing effect of text for that we need to define the minimum width of that button after that in a style 6 you can see the text 1 which is right here there is a text 2 which is the the pop-up text you can see over here once you hover on that then alignment option the speed option you have the mask to display that means if you want to increase or feel of this uh, on go on text and you can adjust the text from here you also select the type direction of that because if you are using the RTL or LTR based on that you can change the direction of that as well now let's go to the style 7 in style 7 you will have options for the alignment and the styling you also have the style 8 in which you have the normal emoji and the hover emoji like you can put the emoji over here and if you can if you know about the emoji you can go to the get emoji website and you just need to copy paste emoji from there if you want this emoji you would need not to do anything you just need to copy paste and you can put over here and you can see the difference over here so this way you can change the emoji and put that over here then there is the other options as well like you can put the button text the extra text one two and you will have options for the typography over here for everything like you can adjust the typography for the normal text for the extra text uh, for the button mean text so you will have options for everything if you go to the style 10 there is option for the button text, button width, button height As again these buttons are a bit complex these effects needs to be adjusted in a width and height and so that's why you just need to do it like if you increase the font size you need to adjust its width and height to get exit effect again and that's why we have put that for the responsive so if you decrease the font size of button text you can adjust the width and height of that section in the small screens as well then you have the alignment option so all these options are similar for these kind of buttons in a style 13 you also again have all kind of text like contact and the text 1 text 2 you can see everything over here so and their position the tooltip position you can put that on left you can put that on right 
you also have the options for the tool tips you know the styling you can adjust it's like color border box shadow you can also adjust the transform css which you can put from the css direct directly over here so you can adjust that based on your needs so these are the options for the call to action category of advanced button after that you have the animated download buttons in which let's go to the style one in a style one you can see the button text over here you can put the button text then you have the option for the link keep in mind we have put this link directly as a download link that means you need to put the link including dot pdf or whatsoever whatever you put and you can generate a link by uploading data in file browser right once you upload that and you will get a link you just need to put that over here you also can set up a download file name but that depends on the browser on a length of file name like you will get only the paste or like a four dc four liters or five liters depends on the browser so but you can put the file name over here it will override your original file name after that you have the option for the alignment and all the styling button styling like colors typography background download text style you know the box content you will have every options which needed for you to adjust all the stylings and typography things over here you can also show just a button like this or with the text you also have different styles over here where you will have two or three button text based on like on the style everything are as mentioned for the style one so these are the download buttons which you, which you can use so all these options are available in advanced buttons so make sure you subscribe to our channel as we have lots more tips and tricks coming soon for the wordpress and for the elementor page builders and keep crafting amazing websites using the plus add-ons and elementor page builders see you in the next video